So Project Blaze OS latest version based on Android 12.1 or basically Android 12 L or you can say the version 1.4 for this custom is out. A lot of available, a lot of devices have this update so far. A lot of devices might get this update very soon. If a device did not got the official update yet and your device is supported, you'll see the latest update very soon. What are the new changes and differences which you get in this latest version? Let's just quickly talk about that. And yes, it has Android 12 L style Easter egg. Moving on to the default things here. As I already made a video on Google Apps variant a lot of times, so this time I tried vanilla version. So I thought let's just talk about the default launcher also, as in Pixel launcher in the Pixel base builds, or you can say Google Apps build. We don't have this launcher as far as I know, but in this vanilla version, we have the icon pack support in the home screen. We have a double tap to sleep for the users if you need these kind of things. Abdur also has some few of the customizations only about the icon labels, which will give you a good UI if you. Want to disable this thing and miscellaneous has the grid for recent app and hidden and protected apps so you'll be able to hide the apps including that you'll be able to lock your device apps if you want to this is about the default launcher what you get pre-installed moving on to the changes that you have in this portion the first one what we have is the status bar ticker if you use notifications and if you enable this option called status bar ticker then the notification or the music etc whenever you change that you'll be able to see the status bar you will see all the things in your status bar which is actually something different kind of including that if you're able to notice here in the lock screen we have the weather information available as far as i know in the previous updates the weather information was not there so yes you can enable this option by moving into lock screen customizations you can even enable or disable some of the other things you can even disable the weather if you want to by the way so if you don't know if you don't like that you can simply disable that if you want to use this thing you can enable this option and you can use the custom weather location if you want to as in my case i'm using custom city so yes if you want to you can use this thing this is about another change which we got in project place version 1.4 we also got this option called flashlight on call blink which is something kind of different and is in just my opinion honestly i don't use this feature at all but if you use this thing if you use this feature on your device you can use this thing you have the option to customize the value for the call blink rate where you can increase or decrease that option if you want to the quick settings panel as expectedly is kind of inspired from android 11 but one thing if you're able to notice unfortunately i don't have sim card so i'll not be able to show you properly but switch data card option is there which will help you if you use a dual sim on your device which will help you to change the data sim from sim 1 to sim 2 or sim 2 from sim 1 looks good and including that if you're able to notice this quick settings panel which is basically quick quick settings panel i've enabled the brightness slider in my personal opinion it's a little bit fixed from the previous update previous update was having bug but in this update it's fixed but not properly the space between the tiles and the brightness slider is not there so hopefully in the next update this shall be fixed the battery options also has a battery optimization feature which was not available previously by the battery optimization feature is currently present in all the custom rooms for sure but in battery section it was not there so yes now it's there and yes including that of course you can wipe the stats if you want to you can reset the battery stats the battery manager battery saver all these options are already there including the battery temperature these were about the changes which you have in this project place version 1.4 but including that as expectedly face lock fingerprint lock app lock everything is already present so nothing to worry about these kind of things my device is encrypted by the way i'm using unofficial version but yes it's not a big deal you can use the official version if your device supports that blaze house where we have all these customizations some theme related things includes fonts and icon pack related customizations some status bar customizations are also there if you want to use these things you can we also got some quick settings customizations let me show you like this quick settings panel quick setting transparency data usage summary in the quick settings footer and some few of the other customizations too some lock screen customizations and including that all these things we got some system customizations about vibration on connect etc ignore window secure flags and done these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye